Hey guys, Tom Hicks here. Now, today's vlog, I'm going to be talking about making music. Now, I've always wanted to make music. I've been inspired by people such as Dead Mouse, Avicii, Skrillex, Zed, you name it. I've been so into wanting to make my own music and it's never became a dream and it's never really become a reality either. So today I'm going to be meeting up with a special friend called Doug, uh, short for Dougie, I just call him Doug because it's cool. And he's going to be showing me his music setup and how he makes music. So I'm hoping today's going to be a little bit of a creative vlog. Also, one thing I want to make really clear, I never normally leave the house unless I have certain things with me, whether that be my uh, computer stuff, editing stuff, Nintendo Switch, all those kind of things. So I'm going to quickly go through the list of what I do not leave the house with, especially if I know I'm vlogging for the day. Now, the first thing you got to know that I'm not going to leave the house with is my insulin kit. So that's all there. Everything's in there, ready to go. Uh, I've got my bag, which has also got stuff like my MacBook. I know I forgot something. There we go. AirPods, they can go there. Uh, I forgot the input one. Let me move that line out of the way. All right, I think that's everything. Got to admit, you know, I really need to start using this thing a little bit more. I want to get some more documentary style shots because there's actually a fundraiser, which I'm going to uh, try and do like a little startup campaign. But, uh, I've gone about that more once I get closer to it. Now it's just packing all the crap away. All right, usually when I'm out and about and I can't be asked to get my MacBook out, I usually get my tablet, so let me sit down a minute. Usually though, I usually write stuff on my memos. So this is like my channel. I did this the other, oh no, it's gone. I did this the other night. This is just like a little to-do list. I don't know if you can see, there we go. There's a little to-do list of what I need to do on my channel. Uh, and usually if I'm out at a cafe and I really can't be bothered to get my MacBook out, I usually just get this and just, you know, just plan on this because it's a lot easier and portable. I would prefer an iPad though. So I think I might save up and treat myself. Camera. To be honest with you, and now I'm just going to be using my iPhone instead, so I might as well just leave this here. <sighs> Righty then, I think I'm ready to go to Doug's, so let's go. So I'm at my friend Doug's right now, and he's going to be showing me how he uses his music software, which is all attached to that one computer, and then we've got all those bits down there, which I'm going to do some nice little camera things, because why not, because it looks cool. Uh, and Doug is going to be showing me how to make some music and hopefully get a live demo. Isn't that right, Doug? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So just to let you know, Dougie is an old friend of mine. I met him when I was in year 10 at school, which I was about, how old were we in year 10? Must have been about uh, 15. 15. Yeah, 15. Really? Wow, yeah. 15. Yeah. So I met this guy when I was 15. I am 22 now, so that's quite a while. Uh, we're in the same drama class with each other actually, and graphics, and yeah. kind of was in the same music class. Yeah. But you were in the, the, oh, a different side. You were doing BTEC, I was doing GCSE. I failed it anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and drama and graphics, but I'm good now though. I'm really good now. Already it looks like something from Star Trek. You know, you've got the, uh, the panels and stuff. Yeah. It's like something from uh, Voyager. Like, we've got to go warp speed. <laughs> Do you know what, all the, the, the cables and the buttons and stuff. Oh, I mean, annoying part. Just, just looking at all of this here, I wouldn't know where to start. I really <laughs> wouldn't. So it's all part, so all of these different things are part of the one software. Yeah. That is amazing. It so this controls really this part. What part's that? So that's the arranging part. So you can sort out your tracks. You can do your, uh, your notes that you can put in. Oh, at the bottom there. Yeah, and then your notes. And then you've got your arranging here. I'll show you I'm, I'm familiar with that screen. Is that like, is that your beginner screen? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to the beginner stuff. What you're doing there, that was way too much. <laughs> that was like advanced pro stuff for me. I, I'm I'm more I'm more beginner. That's why I failed my uh, GCSE uh, music at school. So remind me what this one does again. So this is the launch pad. Yep. Oh, like that. <laughs> it's good. And now it's not working. Brilliant. Ooh, technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. Part of every good show. <laughs> Might not sound brilliant, but hey, anything's better than nothing. <laughs> exactly. Here we go. Can you hear it? Yep. So is that all, is this all live right now then? Yeah. I'm just out of time. That sounds awful. 
just pick a random track out of nowhere and it just sounds awful. Technical difficulties Quick question, again. you know why you got all these different colours on here? What do they all mean? They're just like all the different tracks. Do you have to make those tracks yourself? Uh, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, it's so a much. lot. I know there is a lot there. Oh wow, that looks pretty. Yes. I would get lost for day. How long did it take you on average to get used to each, you know, little, um, you know, knob to twist, button to press, <laughs> thing to go up and down? Not long, because because I've learned it at college. Yeah. Quite a lot. So you know that these are your faders and stuff, so they could, they, they can, these control the volume of the track. Yeah. So you can... So I'm guessing you alterate. put it down and it goes, yeah. uh, your volume goes down, and mm. then put it up and your volume goes up? Yeah. So if I so if I just play this track now, oh, it sounds serious. Just need to. Uh, so this is track um, five. Mm -hmm. So track five's there. Oh, so can you put songs like no, different just... tracks onto that? Yeah. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. That was so like, that was some proper peaceful stuff yeah. going on. That was really good. Thank you. That's cool. Book your tickets now. Yeah. <laughs> Just pressing a few buttons, although you wouldn't think it, a few little lights, you've got to get it in such perfect sync. And if you don't, then you're in yeah. trouble. Especially if it's a live show as well. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't want to be doing it in front of, let's say, a couple of thousand people. No. You end up clicking the wrong button, and before you no. know it, your whole music arrangement is mm. out. You've got another an hour and a half left on the stage, and you think, yeah. ah, your concentration, crap. Your concentration is massive when you're performing live. I can imagine the stress. I mean, once you get the rhythm of it, once you get used to it, which yeah. I'm sure you are used to doing stuff like this. Yeah. Me, I'd probably just, I'd probably press the wrong note to start with. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> actually doing it live in front of mm. loads of people, it just must, it must be wow. I mean, even just watching you doing that little bit then mm. is like, for you, that's probably basic. But for yeah, me, that's it's, like... It's just a simple <sighs> arrangement. It's for me, that, that <laughs> that's not simple for me. <laughs> Nowhere near simple. How much does this kind of thing set you back? Let's say if you wanted to go out... Let's say if I wanted to go right now and get this one, this one, and those two there. I mean, do you use all those together or is it usually no, just... No, just these two. So if I wanted no, to get no. just these two here, which for the camera wise, is just uh, this one and that one. How much would that set me back? What, how much money? Yeah, how much would that set me back if I wanted to go out all at once? Quite a lot, really. Is this hundreds or thousands? Hundreds, not thousands. I was going to say, but thousands. It's like, thanks for watching, goodbye. <laughs> Even just looking at it, I feel like a part of me feels like I'm on a spaceship. A part of me <laughs> yeah, thinks I'm a pilot. Plane, yeah. yeah, and then another little smidget of me, a little unexperienced smidget, makes me feel like, it's like I'm you're actually controlling the volume of the plane. Yeah, you don't yeah, want I to do. hear people. <laughs> like, oh, stop! Stop moaning. <laughs> yeah, that is 
Just crazy though, it's just absolutely crazy. Right, so me and Dougie here have been playing around with, uh, what's the software you're using again? Ableton. With Ableton, um, and we've come up with a little something. I mean, bear in mind this was like a quick 20 minute thing, and I'm new to this, so don't, don't, don't be too mad at me. <laughs> we'll come up with something, and we want to play it for you, and it's actually given me the confidence to try it myself on here with the, wait, it's not working. Oh, Dougie, what have I done? <laughs> you start recording. Oh. There you go. Take away the drums. There you go. There we are. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Live here with Duggo and Tomo. 